I am Amata and I am from Kashmir. I belong to the place Bishbihara and my uh, district is around uh, Around uh, 25 years back, I became the victim of conflict in Kashmir and I, a single blood in my spine shattered my vital organs like kidney, spleen and liver and uh, they were damaged and right kidney was shattered completely. I remained confined to bed after that injury for two years, including one complete year in the hospital. So many surgeries were done and I finally was declared as the wheelchair user because of my disability, that is because of spinal cord injury. I can't walk, I am completely uh, dependent on the wheelchair and others for the community. I am uh, running a school for children with disabilities now in Kashmir, in which around 150 children are enrolled. Earlier, uh, when I became the victim of this problem, I uh, couldn't decide what can be my fate in life, how can I go and start my new life. But uh, seeing the complete disaster in my family, my sadness in the whole family, I was uh, completely uh, living a custodial life. And once I heard the noises of some children around in my house and I decided with my mother that I should start uh, some engagements because after one year of my injury I wrote to my doctor who operated me for the spinal cord injury and he said you should start some table work and uh, my decision at that time was not final what to do, how to work, how to start but I finally uh, my decision stopped that I should go with the children. The children are very enthusiastic to live the life. So my mother has hesitated me to get some children from the community who can't afford the education and I finally started free tuitions for them. But seeing the disability from a close range, I uh, was always curious what is the fate of the children with disabilities. Where are they? Why are they not coming in? One, two, three numbers are not coming to have free education. So, um, um, after four years of my complete free tuition, some uh, uh, of the students who had now completed the uh, high secondary school uh, education like 12 they had now been admitted in colleges they asked me if they can help me and my only support was to give me a helping hand in searching the children we made a hunt in around eight nine villages in our vicinity beach Bihara, which is a taxi and uh, we got a bad picture of children with disabilities, children with mental disabilities, children with hearing HP disabilities. So many children were dropped from school and uh, the local children whom we found very near to my residence, four or five children, uh, we brought them and tried to uh, give them admissions, facilitate them to get the admission in government schools. But there was no a special educator, no proper uh, infrastructure, no one ready in the government sector to take these children. Uh, but the children were completely dropped from the schools. They were not, uh, they had not got, uh, been accepted by the school authorities because of these reasons that everything was missing for them in the schools. So uh, we decided to uh, get a organization registered. We registered it under Humanity Welfare Organization Helpline. We took these children and started a center under the name Helping Hand Agency. So, uh, 
सेंटर रन फॉर अराउंड टू इयर्स एंड द चिल्ड्रन स्टार्ट कमिंग एंड वी गॉट अ हेल्प फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट दैट इज गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया थ्रू दैन नेवी चीफ मिस्टर सुरेश मेहता हु डोनेटेड एस अ वेकल फॉर गेटिंग दीज चिल्ड्रन टू द स्कूल एंड टू एंड फ्रो and there after the police also gave us an ambulance and uh, we started taking the children then uh, 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 we got help from the cry child rights and you organization and the center now became a school in 2008 and it got registered under the name ziva pai shoot up in this education at that time we had small amount of uh, children from uh, blindness or the visual visual disability uh, then uh, with the passage of time so many deaf children uh, came who were completely dropped out from school and mental disabled children having autism down syndrome general mental tradition they started coming in uh, but uh, the problem was how to start the center how to start the school and in jnk when somebody gets uh, some uh, bullet injury or uh, is hurt in the militancy type of uh, incident he gets uh, the excretion relief as i had got permanent disability i get 75000 as excretion which i denied for five complete years that i don't want i have uh, my parents have spent the lakhs of money on my different surgeries rehabilitation but at this point of time i had no money so i started the school with the the center and the other activities from this uh, with school we started a computer center also for those students who are disabled who are orphans who are militant say to them and uh, with the passage of time the school is now a complete uh, school uh, in which 150 children are enrolled Uh, my motivation was when i see my disability uh, from uh, my own eyes and i uh, uh, see how challenges uh, are there in the disability so uh, i also saw that i went to many places and discrimination happens because of the inaccessibility i couldn't reach a place of my choice i sometimes couldn't uh, make way to the various recreational places and that and gave my special attention towards the disability and uh, the disability rights i got an opportunity to work at the national level with uh, national disability network created by ncpdp founded by mr javed abdi and uh, javed abdi personally uh, helped me a lot uh, for a uh, years to get idea how to fight for the rights in jnk and uh, i am very uh, thankful that i met him and i got a lot of knowledge because of him i utilized that knowledge in my own area and uh, apart from the school activities of children with disabilities i started advocating for the rights of persons with disabilities i started meeting the stakeholders file the pils write the rtis and uh, a day came when uh, these things these tools uh, proved to be very strong and lot of uh, good directions from the government from the court came in and uh, education accessibility and uh, other things came in limelight and everything uh, became easy for a person with disability uh, we can see that person with disabilities are now uh, getting the Uh, employment under um, rights of persons with disabilities act and i also got a time in, uh, during law formation to become an observer for the law formation uh, policy making and a person with disability should be highly motivated uh, in these things and he, they should become their own advocates because angels will never come to this place to earth and help us to get our rights um, fulfilled we have to be our own advocates and uh, only uh, need change cannot help us some will say you are different able some will say you are specially able some will say you have um, special needs and you are the divyang and everything 
no they, these things will not help us and the only thing which will help us the disability sector is that we should produce more advocates we should produce our own um, activists that can uh, fight for the rights and make way for the future generation to live a, a good life uh, in a, a, despite having a disability with us uh, we have seen a uh, lot of people having given, given the names just like 75 years back regions were given name to the Dalits but nothing has changed for them. So if we will be called as Divyans, we will be called as with the good names, nothing will change for us. Only the thing is that you, we should look up, um, for the statutory uh, bodies, we should look for the uh, constitutions like UNCRPD at the global level, Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act, National Trust Act, Rehabilitation Council Act. Uh, we should go with the last uh, this uh, uh, Rehabilitation Council of India Act uh, and other acts, mental health act, and uh, utilize them as tools to get the rights. We should fight in the courts. We should file the PIs. We should file the RTIs. We should uh, have advocacy meetings. We should write down. We should uh, uh, write as many as letters we can to the stakeholders with whom our um, um, tables of justice lie. Uh, they, uh, whosoever is our stakeholder, the minister, the secretary, the uh, director, whatsoever he is, we should call him, we should ask him, we should mail him, we should write to him. Advocacy is a big thing uh, which can change our, uh, our own mindset and we can change the mindset of others. If we don't go with the advocacy, if we don't become the good advocates, if we don't become the activists, we uh, cannot wait, then we are the dependents, we have to wait for others who will make our policy. And we should have one goal, one uh, slogan that is nothing about us without us. Whenever something is made for us, we should be available there. Whenever a small ramp is uh, being made for the person with disability, sometimes the ramp is very steep and a general person having no disability will, can get disability as far from it. So when a ramp is made for us, we should be there, we should guide them what is a ramp and how we can go for it. When a tactile path is being made, we should ask the a person with blind uh, yes, to come and watch if it is going uh, through uh, on their own perspective. We have to be uh, cross disability friends. We don't have to fight uh, that he is from another sector and we are from another sector. Every person with disability having different kind of disability are the uh, five fingers of a hand and we should be like this and we should always uh, be um, very high, uh, highly motivated for the advocacy to change our world, to make it better, inclusive and accessible.